Hello and welcome to the video explaining my latest project for entry in the Apache Spark Makers Bill. So the project I have detailed here is called the IOT Back Brace. So why IOT? Uh, many of you have already heard this acronym before. It stands for the Internet of Things. And basically this concept is how everyday items like uh, refrigerators, dryers, um, household items, uh, even wearable items uh, like a back brace for instance have the ability to take measurements, uh, monitor key metrics, and then connect to the internet and provide us with lots of great data. So now that IOT is explained, why a back brace? Well, every year back injuries impact over 1 million US workers, which is costing companies billions of dollars in direct costs and lost productivity. Um, and things like workers compensation and increasing insurance premiums and back injuries are the number one injury suffered at work and many of these injuries are caused by improper lifting techniques such as uh, stooping or bending to pick up objects or rotating the spine while lifting or uh, lifting with a rounded back the uh, IOT back brace is a device that helps identify and report activities that could potentially cause back injuries um, this is accomplished by continually monitoring the posture of the person uh, with an embedded microcontroller and the microcontroller also has a gyroscope and accelerometer. Although it's impossible to have perfect posture all the time, this device allows you to track the number of movements that are uh, classified as potentially harmful throughout the day. The process of reporting these metrics combines a wide range of open source technologies all the way from the small Arduino microcontroller to big data and machine learning engines like Apache Spark. As the posture of the person wearing the brace changes, an event is triggered and a message containing the device readings is sent to the cloud where it is logged and then categorized using a machine learning algorithm. And then finally, those measurements are aggregated and surfaced in reporting. And although this process seems pretty simple on the surface, in order for it to be successful on an enterprise scale, there needs to be some key technologies at play. Imagine a company with multiple locations, and at these locations they have dozens of back braces, all reporting simultaneously. The back-end processing for this deployment would have to have uh, low latency response time, as well as uh, near real-time reporting for management. This back-end engine would also require easy scaling as they grow or expand the program. Apache Spark also provides an excellent machine learning library. Um, as I mentioned earlier, I'm using it to classify the posture of the person wearing the brace. And in this case, I'm using a random forest classification model, which is essentially an ensemble of decision trees. The model is trained by sending known postures and their corresponding device readings. Uh, through this training, thresholds are determined and a model is developed to translate posture measurements which are uh, numeric values such as minus 45 degrees or plus 20 degrees. Um, those are translated to categories such as stooping, bending, or upright. All the scripts used in this project are available in the IoT Backbrace GitHub repository. Uh, the scripts are divided up into their logical components. I try to keep it as compartmentalized as possible to keep it uh, understandable. Um, everything from the Arduino sketch used in the device to the data collection um, the machine learning, the training algorithm used, and the uh, Python scripts used for that. Also note that there are Jupyter notebooks in uh, some of the folders that will help walk through the code step by step and help explain some of the logic used in this application. So this project is really just in its beginning stages and I know there are many ways in which this can be improved so uh, any comments or suggestions are definitely welcome. Thanks for checking it out and happy building! Thank you.